season of the damned. Oh, in the Tower of London, large as life, the ghost of Anne Boleyn walks, they declare. For Anne Boleyn was once King Henry's wife, until he made the axe bob her hair. Oh, yes, he done her wrong on years ago, and she comes back each night to tell him so. With her head tucked underneath her arm, she walks. Tower with her head tucked underneath her arm at the midnight hour. She comes to old King Henry, she's giving him what for. Gets who she's gonna tell him off for having spilled her gore. And just in case the axe man wants to give her an encore, she's got her head tucked underneath her arm with her head. Now sometimes old King Henry gives a spread For all his pals and gals that ghostly crew The axe man carves the joint and cuts the bread When in walks Anne Boleyn to queer the dew She holds her head up with a wild war whoop And Henry cries, don't drop it in the soup With her head tucked underneath her arm She walks with her head tucked underneath her arm at the midnight hour. One day she found King Henry was in the castle bar. He asked, are you Jane Seymour, Anne Boleyn, or Catherine Parr? Now how the hell am I supposed to know just who you are? You got your head tucked underneath your arm with her head underneath her arm. She walks the bloody tower with her head tucked underneath her arm at the midnight hour. Along the drafty corridors for miles and miles she goes. She often catches cold, poor thing, it's cold there when it blows. It's awfully awkward for the queen to ask to blow her nose with her head tucked underneath her arm. With her head tucked, head tucked, head tucked, head tucked, head tucked underneath her arm. Whoop! <laughs>